Hello everybody. Welcome to, oh, let me just move that. <laughs> Welcome to our new release of a fabulous collection called Perfect Picnic. And it really is a perfect picnic because we have got some beautifully perfect characters for you. So let me introduce you to some of these incredible little animals. We've used our adorable rabbits. Now this is, look at this. I just need to share with this, this with you. So we've got our fabulous characters and they're on a swing. This is going to be one of those dies that you'll go to again and again and again because this is happy anniversary, this is a wedding, this is congratulations on your engagement, etc. So isn't aren't they just an adorable, lovely little couple? Or it just could be from me to you. Absolutely. So that's the first one. Then let's bring in, these are fabulous. Let me sit this like so. Now we've got a lot happening here. Oh, let me just straighten them up. We've got a lot going on. So again, we've got that lovely little couple inside on the swing. And then why wouldn't you, oops, bring to the picnic music. So we've got that fabulous old fashioned gramophone. We've also got our little characters that are our gathering characters. So it gives you the perspective. So they're a little bit set a little bit further back. And also we've got this adorable set of characters here too. So there's a lot going on with this, which is just lovely, okay? Now, what we usually do now when we release a collection is we give you the whole shebang, really, a kit and caboodle, let's say, for the want of a better word. So you get the Minecraft Studio, you also get the SVG files that work with the Brother Scan and Cut. In addition to that, we obviously give you the die collection as well. And that's what this one is. It's a little bit of inspiration with the die collection. But also you're going to get a special web education download as well. So it's one of the paid classes. And in that, I've also put together... Um, or the lovely graphic girls upstairs have put together a lovely little download that adds lots of feeling and it, it, it like puts them in into perspective in a place. So it's like a bit of a scene building. So this is where we go in. Now, let me show you. Let me bring this in. Let's separate this out. So I've created an over the edge card with the circle. That's just all this is. These are my fundamentals. So I've used the circle. I've then gone ahead and used some of that um, uh, web class and done it and created a little background. But then I've used my circle, the nested circle. So the ones that are come down in size. So it creates, I've got um, a matte layer. Okay. And then I've used the same one and then I've printed on acetate and that will create a dome, okay? So that is where we're gonna go with this one. To do this, if you haven't ever done it before, it is really easy, okay? So all you need to do is get your cardstock, get your die, and you place it down here because we need this, okay? We need so if I put that side by side, can you see? We're only gonna use this piece of the die, but we do need something to allow it to stand up, okay? So if it's an over the edge. But the difference being is how we place it on the actual mat. So I'm going to stick this down like so. And when we put it on the mat, we're only cutting that part, okay? So when we place it on our die cutting mat, as you can see, I've already done one before, we put the piece on that we want to cut. Now I work this way around, okay? So you can now see this is all overhung. None of that is gonna cut, okay? And then I do put a little bit of tape on my cardstock to keep it in place. I grab my mat my plate, sorry, and pop it through the machine. And that is going to create my over the edge. And then I do exactly the same with the um, 
printed element, which is what I've done here. That's my printed element and I cut it down, overlay it so I know that I've overlaid what I need. It has cut. So there's my cut, okay. And then I do it again. But when you cut your acetate, maybe sometimes with acetate, you might need to put your metal shim in there as well so it gives it a nice clean cut. So when I take this out, like this, just gonna have to, I'm just gonna have to snip a little tiny bit because I don't want to put it through again. Ooh. Oh, it's released. Put that out of the way. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to make sure that this edge is straight. Okay, I've got a straight edge. Like so. And then using my guillotine, I'm going to take off. that edge and then it gives me that lovely over the edge and you can see where it's cut on the other side okay and then you're left with if you don't want the circle just glue a rectangle back on there if you don't like this open at the back you can just glue a piece of rectangle on the back and then I've done the same with these so now we've done that I can actually just get, I'm looking for my tweezers, there we go, that's what I need. So I've put my tape on here already. What I actually need to do is take these pieces off, so I'm going to fold those back because we're going to put the dome on, so we're not going to take all of this off just yet. I'm jumping ahead a little bit, so I want my characters. Here we go. I remember with the reverse reflection, when you print this off, you just fold. Always remember to fold along that score line. Okay, just a quick tip. So, and that is when you get your little reversed characters and it cuts out fabulously so now I don't have to have him sat in my car I can have him this way okay so that's why I did that one I'm going to bring in my lovely characters on the swing I want one of the smaller that's too big oh no we'll go with that I'll chop it down And we've got the basket. Now the basket again is a nested set. So I now want to go with one of the, that one. And of course, just because they're nested does not mean at all that you have to stay with what you've been given, okay? Just but you can still snip into all of this. It doesn't take away any snippability. Everything is still there for you to play with. And then I have, in fact, I'm going to take that one out because I want the smaller. That's better because they're in the background. And I want the two smaller characters. So I just need to find that one. Okay, so now we can pop it all together. So I have, because I've got the reverse reflection on my little mat, I pop a little bit on this, but I'm using two mediums on this one because I'm actually going to glue, wet glue on these two and then lift this forward. Okay, in fact, I'm going to put another layer on. That's another layer on that one. And then I have my two of the gatherings. And because we've got the gatherings and we've got them in proportion, that's how we can build up. Do I go that way? No, we'll go this way. So, 
gramophone imprint of picnic so you always have to have a little bit of music at a party or a celebration like so bring in the picnic basket tuck that in we do have you know we do make some of the most adorable little characters that you could possibly hope to find so he's now sat in a different orientation she is in the background over this way he's coming along with her so i'm just going to lift that up and tuck those in okay and then I just need to place these two gorgeous little characters on here. And then I need a little bit of wet glue. And also some of my glue sticks. Now, things that you're seeing me use, you can absolutely get on Highlight Crafts. I've got one open. So just log on to highlightcrafts.com. So the glue sticks, we also have the pin flag glue, if that's what you're needing. So put a little bit of glue on those. And it makes a difference when you've got the right tools doing the right job. Okay, oops. Make sure that's stuck down. That's better. Let's put a little bit more glue on these two. Hold them down like this. Okay, keep my fingers out of the way. And then we're going to add that lovely cover to the front. Now to do this with acetate, I've actually scored. So where I've scored, I don't know if you can see it very well. I'm gonna lay it on there. I've got a little bit extra, okay? So when I actually um, score, sorry, excuse me, glue the window, it will bow, all right? So I've not scored up to the edge of the actual image. I've gone another good half a centimeter out. So it gives me the, the bow that I'm looking for, okay? And then with acetate, red liner tape is your absolute friend. So let's take the tape off of the actual backing. So then we can place that and glue it down when we've put that little dome in place. Like so. Take more of the tape off. <coughs> and I just want to take that one off there. Like so. So now, make sure I've got it the right way around. I have. This piece is going to glue on this edge. I've already taken that red liner tape off. really stick that down and then on the other side can you see it really does overlap I've got about a centimeter so I've got five mil on each side which is going to give us a really nice dome effect my glasses might help It's always the case. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide that along to that crease, that fold. And then burnish that down. Okay, so I don't want that to move. Okay, so that is the red liner tape. Can you see it's already rocking? Okay. And then this you see the acetate how it gives us that lovely dome if I just hold this in place because I need to get it level I 
move it across a little bit. There we have that lovely dome. Can you see the dome of acetate? And we've got the grass that is in front of the characters. Okay, so I've printed the grass, etc., on that character. So I've brought I've brought the background to the front. So the characters have got the grass in front of them as well. So that is our lovely die. So remember, making an over the edge card isn't really as difficult as it, what it might look. It's super, super easy. So I want to see you all having a go. And you can do this with any shape that you've got. So thank you for joining us. Don't forget to click like and uh, share. Okay, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you all again soon. You take care. Bye. If you would like to see more from Highlight Crafts, make sure you click the like button. Subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and click the bell icon to receive notifications on all our future content. You can also click here to see our latest video or click here to see more videos like this one.